Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's another weigh-in day. We're gonna talk all about this week's WW workshop. I'm going to share my weigh-in with you for the week, kind of how my week went this last week and what my goals are moving in to the new week, the third week of January. I can't believe we are already three quarters through the first month of 2021. It's crazy. So I'm excited to share all of my goals and my weigh-in with you and talk to you all about this week's WW workshop. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and lets me know to keep putting out these weigh-in videos every single week. One of my goals for 2021 was to weigh in every week. So I like sharing that with you guys for motivation or even for support on my end from you if it wasn't such a great week. So give it a big thumbs up so I know to continue doing these videos. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I do a weigh in every Friday so you should see a video every single week so you don't wanna miss out. Don't forget to check out that description box down below where you're going to find my custom 2021 calendar. Although we are partly through January, it's not too late to get your hands on one of these incredible calendars. You can track your entire life as well as your workouts, your water, self-care, and your food for the day. So it's just a great way for a little piece of extra accountability. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. Really important to have this information, especially moving into the new year, so you can be as successful as possible. Let me do the calculation for you so that it's accurate and personalized for you. Also, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So if you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one individual support, that's a great tool to have as well. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite things. And last but not least, my Facebook group. We'd absolutely love to have you join that community. So head on over and join us there. So let's jump into this week's workshop, weigh in, and let's set some goals moving into the new week. you guys up on how my week went. So this week I killed it. I mean, hashtag nailed it this week. My nutrition was on point. I set myself a goal on Sunday that I was going to have a perfect week when it comes to staying within my points. You heard me right. This last week, I only tracked my WW points. I stayed within my points every single day. I did use my weeklies as always on Saturday. So the rest of the week, I committed to being on point with my points. I stayed within my points every single day. Of course, the calorie counter in me did a little bit of math in my head each day to see where I was falling calorically. I tried to make really good decisions on the food that I chose. I tried to really focus on the zero point foods to make sure that I was eating enough calories. Even though I was wasn't tracking them, I know that in order to hit a decent caloric level every day on WW, you have to focus on zero point foods, less processed food, more real food. So that's exactly what I did this last week. And I would say that on average, I was under my calories every day, but not a lot, just a couple of hundred normally. So I felt good about that. I didn't feel like I was eating in such a deficit that it would cause metabolic adaptation or that I would feel lethargic and kind of fatigued throughout the week. So I felt great on my food. I really got to eat all of my favorite foods. I didn't worry about counting my calories for fruit. It was actually a little bit of a nice change of pace since I've been double tracking now for quite some time. Now moving into this next week, I don't know that I'll just count points. I'll probably go back to double tracking. In fact, I'm planning on filming another what I eat in a week. So I wanna hear from you guys, what do you wanna see? Do you wanna see a what I eat in a week points only? Or do you wanna see what I eat in a week points and calories? Or do you want me to just eat my points and see where I fall calories every single day so that I can share with you kind of how best to work the WW program and what happens on days that you eat more zero point foods or less zero point food. So let me know, let a girl know down in the comments so that I can plan to film that what I eat in a week. The absolute highlight or the high of this last week for me was the fact that I got to go back to Jazzercise. They finally reopened the in-studio classes. So you can bet your bottom dollar that I was there as fast as I could get 
my little self there. So I worked out on Tuesday night. I also am working out today after I finish filming this video. And then I have the 8 a.m. class in the books for tomorrow morning. And let me just tell you, after about 30 days of not doing jazzercise, I almost died. I, I legitimately almost died in my class. It was so, so hard. And it is just proof that even 30 days of not doing exercise can have a big impact on your body. So I am back. I have it on the schedule for three times a week for the next two weeks. Once I get back in the swing of working out, I'll probably add an additional day to my week. But I loved it. It was amazing and it was so nice to have nutrition in check and workout in check. So before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic. This week's topic was ready to set an intention for the new year. It's not too late to set some intentions, set some goals for the new year. So what we're going to do is we are going to set an intention for the next three to six months. So we're going to look at the shorter term, not so long term, like the end of the year, or the end of 2021. We're going to stick kind of in the short term. So we're going to set an intention for the next three to six months. And then we are also going to set a small goal to do with that intention over the course of the next few months. So to set this intention and this goal, we need to ask ourselves three questions. Question number one is what do we value the most? Our values and the things that are important to us really represent who we are the most. Number two is how do we plan on showing up? By understanding the things that are of value to us, we can then set our intentions to put those things into action. And number three, is how are we going to act on these intentions? So here's an example. Let's say that your health is what is of value the most to you. And I would say that the majority or a lot of us on a weight loss journey or a healthy lifestyle journey value our health. That's part of the reason that we've chosen to get healthy. So the first thing that you would say is my health is the most important thing to me. Number two, I'm going to prioritize my health. And number three, to set this into action, I am going to focus on healthy foods and move my body more. So now that you've set an intention and that is to better your health, now we need to set that small goal to help us get there to get to that intention. So we are going to use what is called the STAR method for setting our goal. And we've talked about this before. It's actually been in a couple of the different WW workshops. It's actually a great tool to use. So grab a pen and paper and jot this down because it's something that you can use in a lot of the different areas of your life. So what STAR stands for is the S stands for specific. So you're going to select a specific goal. The T stands for truly doable. So the goal that you pick has to be doable. Don't set yourself up for failure and pick a goal that really isn't truly doable for you. The A stands for actionable. So is this a goal that you can take action on to help you reach that goal? And the R is relevant. So is this goal relevant to your, to your health journey, to your overall big picture for what you're trying to achieve? So let me give you an example of how to set a star goal based on what we just talked about making our health the most important priority for us. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I am going to take a 30 minute walk after lunch so that I can prioritize my health. The specific or the S is the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The T or the truly doable is a 30 minute walk. We're not saying that we're going to take an hour long walk or two hour long walk. We're shooting for a 30 minute truly doable goal of a walk. The A, the action item is walking. That is the action that we're going to take to reach our goal is to go on a walk. And the R stands for prioritize my health. This is how it's relevant by going on a 30 minute walk Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we are prioritizing our health, which was the most important value to us. So use your intentions to guide you towards those small goals. I really, truly love this STAR method. I'm actually going to put this down in the description box. I'll lay it all out down there for you as well in case you didn't grab a pen or paper. I'll let you know what the STA and the R mean and how you can use those to set yourself some goals. I love it. I really, truly love this. I myself am going to take, make a note of this so that I can use this in the future as well. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. Before I tell you guys the number, I forgot to tell you when I recapped my week, fortunately for me, on Monday, my favorite, favorite time of the month came my way. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I felt a little bit puffy and fluffy leading up to Monday, so Sunday. And that's when I really told myself, you've got to get this week as a perfect week. You've really got to nail it. And let me just tell you that Tuesday, 
had a double header for me. When it came to potentially failing in having a good week, I got up at 3 a.m. when my husband left for work and could not go back to sleep. So all day Tuesday, I was incredibly tired. And we've talked about sleep and how important it is to weight loss. And because I was so tired, all I wanted to do on Tuesday was eat crap. So I had to consciously tell myself three, four, five times during the day on Tuesday that my goal is to have a perfect week. So I don't want to ruin that by making a bad choice because I'm hungry. And luckily I had four nutrition coaching calls on Tuesday. So that really helped me because here I am coaching people on eating healthy and setting some goals and sticking with those goals. So how can I coach them if I'm not doing the same thing myself, right? So Tuesday was a success, you guys. I didn't do it. I didn't have the snacks. I didn't reach for the sugar to give me quick energy. I stuck to my goals. So with all that being said and still being on my favorite time of the month, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm down 1.2 pounds. That means that every week so far in 2021, I have lost weight. I am so proud of myself, you guys. This is exactly what my intentions are for 2021 is to see a loss on the scale and to hit 50 pounds down this year. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I am on a mission to actually lose 50 pounds this year. So these first three weeks of January are setting me off on the right foot. So now I want to hear from you guys. Number one, I want to hear how your week went. Was it what you expected? Did it go as planned? And number two, what are your intentions and what is your star goal for the next week, for the next month, or the next few months. So let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really, really helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, take a moment and hit the little subscribe button. We'd absolutely love to have you be part of our community. It's such a wonderful, supportive place to be here on YouTube. So come on over and join us. Don't forget to check the description box out for that 2021 calendar, nutrition coaching. Definitely take advantage of the services that I can offer to help you reach your goals. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. We'd love to have you there as well. So that's it for me today, my friends. Happy Friday. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul. It's going to be a good one.